Puggo! Be a shark monster, Hissy! Yeah, be a shark monster! I don't want to be a shark monster. We're pretending we're surfers and we need you to be the shark monster. <laughs> ah! It's a shark monster! Stay away from the shark monster, Rolly! Hey, Pop! We like seeing you too, Bob. We were pretending to surf it. And rough, rough to you guys too. I would love to feel that sand on my toes someday. Hmm. Hope you guys find something fun to do while I'm not here. Could be a bit noisy all day. Did you hear what Bob said? Just barely, that leaf floor really is noisy. You and I are going on a mission. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! We should take some dog biscuits with us for the airplane ride. Good thing Bob invented these collars for us to put stuff in. Ba, 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 ba. We're going on a mission, going on a mission. Ba, 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 ba. We're going on a mission, going on a mission. We're on our way to Hawaii. I think we figured it out. I hope whoever's flying this plane doesn't make it do loop-de-loops, cause that hurts my tummy. Oh, Frank. And aloha to you, little puppies. I was talking about that thing around your neck. It's a lay. And so is this. Rolly. I hope I don't get sunburned, because that hurts my tummy. Come on! The beach is where all the sand is. <laughs> and it's exactly what I need to chase crabs on. <laughs> this thing just got personal. We need something big that flies. Like a big fly? Bigger and flyer. So let's get to work. Uh, no, I mean, wave! Oh, no. And we need a boat. I knew that shock would come in handy. And ship, but I've got a crab to catch. Rolly, we came here to get sand for Bob's toes, not chase everything that's crawling on the beach. Uh, I'm floating. We're both floating. In the ocean! Yeah, we four-leggers are gonna ride the next wave. And whoever surfs the best wins a trophy. But we've never surfed for real before. Grab that wave and head for the shore. Keep your eyes on the ocean and your balls on the board. If you forget to wave, just give it a shot. Two doggies won the surfing contest. First place. <laughs> and we still need something to put it in. <laughs> I'm gonna find you, Krabby. Uh... Bob's gonna be so happy when he sees all the sand for his toes. We should celebrate by eating those dog biscuits I put in our collars. Yeah. All we have to do is get this inside and... What's happening? It's the gardener's leaf blower. It's blowing all the sand away. We have all the sand we need, all over the two of us. Shake, but not till Bob gets home. Come on! Let's see, there were no little puppies around to almost run me over, or wake me up from my nap, or beg me to be a shark monster until I finally said, okay. I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. Whoa, what'd you two get into? <laughs> Oh, actually, that feels really good. Like what the beach must feel like in Hawaii. Walk in the bar. Thanks for checking my eyes, Doc. I'll make sure to keep these sunglasses on for the rest of the day. I've been having a little fun with them. Don't they look cute? Well, here are your puppy's leashes so you can walk them home. Uh, uh, where? Uh, whoa. And away we go. Whoa. 
That's not a shirt. It's a coat rack. I don't think Bob knows because of his blurry eyes. Bob's house is this way. Well, my puppies and I are headed home, so maybe we'll see you when we get there. <laughs> Whoa! But he's probably going to do some shopping before he goes home. Oh, lovely day for a walk, isn't it? Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry. Come on, boys. Huh? We meet again. <laughs> That was a close one. We gotta be more careful. The most important part of leading the way right now is to make sure we get Bob home safe. So let's make sure. Leading our friend to safety because he can't see a single thing. Speed up, slow down, left, right, stop! Walking up. Oh no! Bob's about to teeter. And totter. The big guy needs our help, that's why we're walking the bus. Hey, I'm guys. Are we back where we started, though? Yep. This mission is harder than we thought. I think I'll buy some flowers to take home so I can look at them after my vision clears up. Well, this must be the flower store right here. Hi. You looking for anything in particular? Nope. But I'll know it when I smell it. It's a music store. Bob thinks he's buying flowers. <laughs> uh, do you like that one? Now those look perfect. I'll take a dozen of those, please. Oh, they'll look great in a vase. Thank you. Huh. This way, guys. We'll be home in no time. I just love this store. They sell fresh fruit, sporting goods, and wind chimes. It looks like Bob still can hardly see it all. Yeah, we better help him out. Huh, maybe the fruit's down here. Oh no, I have an idea. I don't know what kind of fruit this is, but it's way too hard to eat. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, excuse me. Oh, that way's blocked. Hey, this feels just right. We did it! Hi, Paul! Two at a time. My eyes are still a bit blurry. Uh, could you point me towards the checkout? Sure, it's right over there. Huh, if I'd known it was gonna rain today, I would have brought a hat to keep my head dry. Maybe they sell hats in here. That's the music store again, Bob. They don't sell flowers or hats in there. <laughs> huh. I wish I knew the fastest way to walk home from here. That bus will be a fast way. But Bob said he wants to walk. Boy, this sidewalk got crowded. Ah! Well, I guess I'm not the only one trying to walk home. And I can just barely see it, but I'm pretty sure that's my house right there. We did it! Yay! I like your silly hat. You know what? And my two favorite neighbors can have two of these, too. <laughs> I guess they do go with the hat. Thanks, Mr. Bob. <laughs> oh, good morning, my perky little pets. It's Bob! <laughs> Pup stars, I see you started breakfast. It's time for my breakfast, too. Breakfast time! I can't wait to make myself a couple of pieces of French toast. Well, that ruins this morning. Oh, I love to imagine. Bingo, Rolly, I'm home. Bob, hi, Bob. I want Bob being a Bob. 
then we've got to find what he needs to make French toast fast. Get going on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, our mission is to bring home the best kind of French toast making bread for Bob. I wish there was a French merry-go-round there so I could ride an up-and-down horsey. Hmm, I'm not sure where we're supposed to start looking for what we're supposed to be looking for. Follow that tum-tum. Huh. Where's all the bread? I am making more as quickly as I can. Are you puppies looking for French bread like everyone else? Yeah, otherwise Bob's going to be all... Uh, where's my French toast? I had more bread cooling outside, but it's gone. Are there any clues about who might have taken it? I did see some tiny footprints leading away from where the bread used to be. None of those big feet would have left tiny footprints. Ooh! Uh, Holy! They're not getting away. We've got you now, you tiny-footed bread takers. We did not take any bread. Then why were you running away? Because we were being chased by two scary-looking dogs. That's another clue. Do you know what it means? Yes, I know what the word clue means. That's one of the first things they teach us at detective school. Hmm, a flapping noise. Hey, you flapping, sounding, tiny-footed bread takers! Bob can't have French toast because of you! Oh no, they're getting away! How are we gonna stop them? But they're also webbed. None of the clues said anything about webbed feet. That's because we didn't take anything. Then why were you running away? Because two scary-looking dogs were chasing us. <laughs> Oh, Jew, if only there were clues I could actually follow. Did you hear that, Rolly? Breadcrumbs. So there's one thing we have to do. Race ya! The race is on. The race is on. The race is on. I'm gonna get you, gonna get you. The race is on. I'm gonna get you, gonna get you. The race is on. I'm gonna get you, gonna get you. The race is on. Sneaky little bread hiders. But we still don't know who's been hiding in here. Maybe we should ask those pigeons who are hiding in here. Hoping they would feed us bird seed instead. Well, why didn't you just not eat the bread they were feeding you? Yeah, then people will feed you bird seed like you want. Mwah. That is one really good idea. I don't know why everyone kept feeding bread to these pigeons. They like our bird seed a whole lot more. Which means there's more bread for my tum tum. Bread. Oh. Mm. Mm. What a treat! Bob seems really happy that you found bread for his French toast. Your scary bear face is even better than Rolly's. This is my normal face. Oh. Pissy's kitty. Huh? Sorry, but I'm right in the middle of an important nap right now. Are Bingo and Rolly playing with Hissy? We're trying, but Hissy doesn't want to play. <sighs> I'm not a baby kitten anymore. I still like to play and all. I just don't play as much as I used to. So the kitten is going to stay right here until we can find where she lives. Wait, what now? And you can play with my kitty while I'm gone. Is he talking about me? She's probably too young to know how to talk. Ooh, and we can give her a name. How about Whiskers McTwitchy Tail? Or Dino Rocket Blast. That's perfect. She loves it. And she loves you. Okay, Snowflake. And that her owner must be sad that she's lost. And she's too young to tell us where she lives. But baby kittens like to run and jump and play and... I want to do none of those things. <laughs> we'll be back as... Let's go! Plan for how we're 
how we're gonna find Snowflake's home. Sure do. Pissy says she played a lot as a kitten, and I think I know where to look first. Kittens love playing with yarn. Maybe Snowflake lives here. Let's see if we can find any cat stuff around. <laughs> Oops, I'll get those. <laughs> <laughs> yarn storm! Oh, I guess we have time for that. Yarn tootin'. Tangled up. Now I can barely move my arms. That's brown like a kitty cat. I'm more than happy to like that. <laughs> That's a little big for you, huh? I remember when I liked yarn that much. We tried looking for something a kitten would play with, but this place clearly isn't her home. Let's look for someone she'd play with. Maybe her home would be with them. Okay. Ha ha! Snowflake made Hitsy jump high. <laughs> don't scare me like that. Why don't you go play with Arf or something? Yes, oh yes, Arf loves to play. Oh my! And if I fall asleep now, I can still get... Lights activated. Don't pounce on me! <laughs> Turn the lights off, Arf! Arf wants to, but Arf's button is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we haven't gotten any closer to finding your home. Maybe we should find the lost cat on that poster and ask if she knows where Snowflake lives. She did seem sad, just like Bob said. When Bob reads that poster, he'll know where Snowflake lives, so he can take her home. Then we better catch that getaway poster. <laughs> Time for a nap. Wait! Don't go up there, Snowflake! It's too high for a kitty! You're okay, kiddo. It's not like I mind being high up, but this is really high up. Also, I'm not sure how to get us both down. Arf can't hear me over his cleaning music. I can't wait to tell Hissy that we found Snowflake's home. You did what now? We can help you. I'm good at jumping. Not if we use my puppy parachute. Absolutely not. Don't worry, Hissy. I'll be right here the whole time. Mm. It's okay. It's just water. 